Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A few months ago, May 2022, we did this video. Could USA operate stealth aircraft, so Raptor and Lightning, in eastern Ukraine with secrecy and impunity? The idea was that we flew from Poland across Ukraine to where the fighting's happening in the kind of southeast, attacked Russian bomber aircraft which were attacking Ukrainian positions and either evading or shooting down Russian air superiority fighters and then getting back across the border before anyone saw us. Well, that was the idea. It didn't work at all. As you remember, we just immediately got detected and shot down and it was a bit silly. So I promised you guys that we would learn how to fix these aircraft and come back and redo it. And here we are, four months later. So before we look at what we're doing today, why don't we quickly spend a couple of minutes finding out what went wrong last time and what we've done to fix it. So these were the fighter aircraft that were involved. VSN's F-35 Lightning II, Grinelli's F-22 Raptor, and the Community Su-35 mod. Sorry, I'm not sure who made it. They're all perfectly good mods. They look good. They fly about right. But as standard, if you use these mods, they do not have the correct radars. They do not have the correct missiles, and so they don't really work properly, as we found last time. Well, we've now gone in and learned how to do the radars and how to make our own missiles, and we're ready to come back with a much more realistic simulation. As standard, the F-35 and the F-22 in DCS have a radar called the ANAPG-63. This is actually a legacy mechanical radar from the 1980s equipped to the f 15 C's. It can see a fighter sized target at about 50 miles. It can get a solution and fire at about 45 miles. In real life, however, these two aircraft have very modern Aesa radars, much more powerful. So we've scratched the APG 63. We've made our own radar. We're just calling it the GR Aesa analog. We're calling it an analog because there are actually no Aesa radars in. DCS. So what we've done is we've made a mechanical radar, we've buffed its properties, so it's performing roughly how we would now predict an AESA radar to perform. It can see fighter-sized targets, non-stealth targets, at about 100 miles, and it can get a solution of fire at about 90 miles, roughly how we would expect an AESA radar to perform. As standard, the SU-35 had a problem the other way around. It had something called an NO-35 radar. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it was just made up. It was like an all-seeing radar that could see everything everywhere all the time. It was a bit stupid, really. It could see stealth aircraft over 100 miles away. So we've scratched that, and we've just put in our generic AESA radar, which performs the same as these other two aircraft. And missiles. As standard, the Lightning and the Raptor had the AIM-120C, this is a late 90s missile, so kind of over 20 years old, with a range of about 50 miles. We've replaced that with our new missile that we've made, the AIM-120D, the most modern current US serving air-to-air -air missile. It has a range of about 90 miles in best parameters, and that's what they are now using. The SU-35, again, had the opposite problem. It was equipped previously with the R-77M. Now, as it turns out, this missile isn't even in production in Russia yet. They're testing it on the Su-57, but otherwise it's not actually being made. It's essentially a fictitious missile, and it could go like 200 miles and was a little bit silly. We've now replaced that with our own missile that we've made for the most modern Russian missile that they have in their actual inventory at the moment, the R-77-1. It has a maximum official range of about 70 miles, and that's what we've programmed it to perform. So now we've got more or less realistic range missiles and more or less realistic performing radars. One other thing to note is that the Acer radar that we've made can pick up a truly stealth target at about 18 miles and fire at about 13 to 14 miles. But don't take my word for it. Let's run two very quick simulations. First, we have a target drone, an F-15 at high altitude and high speed, who's just going to be a drone. 100 miles to the south are two red guys, an F-22A Raptor with a GR aim 120D and an Su-35 with a GR R-77-1. 
Let's see what happens. And off I go, 100 miles. I should see if everything works. The Raptor firing first in the SU-35. Uh, this guy is set to be a dummy. These guys are set to air to air and they are set to fire at the maximum possible ballistic range. So that's, oh, right, pause right there. The A120D has fired at 89 miles, pretty much as we'd expect it. Zoom forwards. And the SU-35 has fired at 65 miles, again, pretty much as we expected. So the ranges are pretty much as we would expect in real life. The maximum speed of the A120D, we've got Mark 4 to Mark 5 in our simulation, and the R77-1 Mark 3 to Mark 4, which is roughly within the realms. As you guys uh, pointed out last time, the PK is a little too high, and the drag is way off at the moment. But... In terms of the simulations we're doing with mass coalition v mass coalition, those problems should cancel themselves out more or less. Boom. That's him down, and let's watch the R77 hit. We've not got the 3D model for the R77 working properly. As you can see, that's actually an R77M. We'll get it sorted at some point. Otherwise, everything should be there and working. Boom. Right size and everything is working. Right, that shows that. Let's quickly rerun it just against a stealth decoy just to show what happens in that configuration and off they go again they know he's there but they can't actually see him at the moment they'll see him at about just under 20 miles Let's see where are we 30 miles got a ways to go yet okay they've probably seen him now yep and they'll be able to fire at about 13 or 14 miles okay you can see there the m120d was fired at 13 miles and the r77 was fired at 14 miles so that shows what's going to happen now with the aircraft set up with the new radar and the new missiles it's not perfect but i think it's going to be near enough now let's talk about what's going on today here is our simulation for today this box shows the actual area we're interested in 250 miles by 150 miles we've got mariupol there donetsk there rostov on don there and the border is something along there but we've actually translated it 200 miles south east to this box here the reason is that we've got actual terrain modeled here whereas here it's just flat grassland and it's there's nothing to see and it'll be a bit boring so here we have ukraine russia border rostov on don donetsk and mariupol what's happening is russian fighter bombers are incurring from russia they're going across the border and attacking fictitious positions around the donetsk region we are going to take off as U.S. aircraft from a Polish airbase, fly 1,000 miles all the way across Ukraine, intercept these bombers, shoot fighters down if we have to, but ideally avoid fighters, and then turn away an RTB. For simplicity, why don't we look at us first? So we're here 1,100 miles away in fictitious Poland. We've got three Raptors and three Lightning Alphas. The Raptors will be equipped with six hidden AIM 120Ds, two AIM 9X Block 2s, and this 680 gallon extra fuel cell. I'm not actually sure if this plane can carry that, but I'm going to use it because I think we're going to need it anyway. We've also got three Lightning Alphas. I should say everything's in stealth configuration. These pylons, they show in the mission editor, but they will not be there in game. And everything here is set to stealth radar cross section of 0.0. .0. 0, 0.5 meters squared. Yes, I'm aware the Raptor was actually a bit smaller than that in real life, but it won't matter. That is the smallest the game can handle. For AIM-120Ds, we do not have to decide to kick mod in at the moment. Okay, we'll take off. We'll fly 500 miles to a US refueler in the middle of Ukraine. Refuel, uh, head another 450 miles to the battle area and attack the targets. Note, we will have an AWACS in the Black Sea here. 400 kilometers away from the bullseye of the action and that's because we do not want it to be within s400 sam range speaking of s400 sams there are two of them modeled here on the border each one is modeled realistically with 400 kilometers worth of kill range which is that circle there will they be able to see our stealths almost certainly not or certainly not at the distances will be at but they will be there and they will be modeled next the prime targets today are the russian bombers they have six su-24 m's flying in pairs one pair here one pair there and one pair there they will be armed with ground attack munitions and bombing generic positions in ukraine they do not have self-defense weapons and all they can do is to countermeasure and run away also fighter bombers fullbacks su-34s eight of them 
in four pairs. Note, although these are bombers as well, they do have the ability to defend themselves with R-73 archers. Again, flying low-level bombing Ukrainian positions. And finally, air cover. They have airborne Russian 6 air-to-air -air superiority fighters, Su-35Ss. Again, in pairs, they have one pair there, and that's a fullback. One pair there, and another pair somewhere that I can't find. Oh, there it is down there, a third pair. Six of these airborne. They are equipped with the newly designed R77-1s that they are actually using in real life. Again, kill range of about 70 miles. Again, ignore the model. I will get around to it at some point. And a couple of close-range modernized archers. And finally, QRA. Quick reaction alert. Here at Rostov on Don, they have 12 more Su 35s with the loadout as we saw before. They will scramble once we've been detected in some way. Take off and come and try and shoot us down. They also have an AWACS here at Rostov on Don. It will detect us at about 50 miles. In terms of detection range against self, this guy should be about 50 miles if it works. These guys should be about 18 to 20 miles if it works. And I don't know if the bombers are going to detect us at all. That is the Russian force. There is one more thing to note, guys. We'll be doing it realistically, as in we will not have any respawns, but there is a little bit of a bug with our new missiles that I haven't got around to fixing yet. Sometimes when we fire them, they catch on our internal weapons bay and actually blow ourselves up. We'll fix it at some point, but if that does happen, if you blow yourselves up, guys, obviously I'm not going to count it as a death, you will be able to use one of these respawn aircraft that I've set just 50 miles away from the battle at that point. It's obvious if you blow yourself up because you fire a missile and you just blow up immediately. In that case, respawn here. Otherwise, don't and just watch, please. I guess predictions, guys. Last time we got absolutely thrashed because, like I said, the planes weren't working. They had the wrong radars, they had the wrong missiles, and it was just an ugly mess. This time, although we haven't tried it, it should in theoretically work pretty realistically to real life. How do you think we're going to get on? I'm asking you, Cap, point blank, did you do it right? I don't know. I've tried. It's surprisingly hard to set these up, but I think so. Uh, I think we're going to get in and get out with uh, impunity. Well, Jeb, we've got the radar, we've got the weapons this time, so mm, we'll see. Stand by. Welcome in, valued viewers. It's early morning in Poland. We've got today in the Raptors, myself, Grump, Violet, Strider, in the Lightnings, Simba, Poosh, Sock. Say hello, guys. Yes, right. If you be uh, Not my pride out, Colby out here. Thank you, Sock. Um, if you would be kind enough to follow me, Don's the runway. My canopy is cooler than yours. Just saying. No, right. my is. Figured out how to turn my landing light on. That's good. I'm taxi light. MFDs look kind of sexy. That's my Grinelli. Take off in the order that you lined up in. Look at Simba, Simba being organized. Right on I am way and waiting. Super Cat Milsim today. Good, I like that. Okay, guys, we are going to take off. We're going to head east on our first 500-mile leg and brakes on sport 85% and 3, 2, 1, release. She goes 90%. 95. And max power. Thirty-five sold brakes, good eighty-five percent. And hold. Speed airborne, gear up. And right pull. Thirty-five off the brakes. Thirty-five max throttle in three. One. Full burn. Right, 
I'm gonna go right round and pick up the 35s. So, 35s, if you do a left pull up, 35, take off. rotate. Continue right pull, pull. I'm going to roll out on 090. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, guys, we're in eco saver mode. Get by for a Let's really long haul flight. Full idle. Welcome back, valued viewers. We are about 450 miles into Ukraine in the center of the country. I've got about 40 something percent fuel, so we're going to refuel with a handily placed tanker. Let's try and make contact. Okay, he's at 27. Thousand. I can actually see him on the edge of my hug glass. I can see him, guys. I don't need no stinking radar. Follow me, guys. Did anyone see what speed he was? I got to see that on my message. 290. 290. It'll be more like 306. 306. Oh, it was all professional today. Right. Um, I'm going to open my lady port lack of a better word lady port open email connector uh yeah sure we're coming refueler and we want lots and lots of your gas or just turn it off turn off your drag coefficient you can do it in the settings why are we talking about putting on and off drag you don't like to go in drag exactly. to the tanker? do we do we are we not going to orlando i am the biggest queen here uh, I think I got you the sure pilot. Yeah, uh, pilot <laughs> saver the way. Pilot, you can't out queen pilot. <laughs> Listen, bitch. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> cap bite. Whoa, cap. Sorry. Someone mentioned queen, and I just had to do a queen thing and roll over. Lol. Cap. <laughs> None of that. If I see any more shenanigans, we're turning these planes I around. I forgot we were Milsim outfit nowadays. You're gonna need those countermeasures, guys. Just saying. Right. I'm nearly here, guys. Sorry, Valley Views, it's been a long flight and I've almost had to turn the bus around several times, mainly because of Damp's behavior. I've been duct taped and put in the back. Yep, pretty much. How did the tape get, get off of his mouth again? Steps off. Uh, <laughs> what Dan forgot to mention is he asked to be duct taped and thrown in the mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It's, it, is it Man Love Thursday yet? Uh, sure. Does anyone know if F-22 was built with air brake? Because I need to slow yep. down. Yes. Look at that, they saw it, fit to give me an air brake. It's your uh, rudders. Thank you, Yusuf. Is Yusuf the only outfit with Raptors? Uh, yeah, you think we would give that sexy airplane to anybody? I nope. Got, I got in super trouble for saying that uh, US, USMC only used Bravo Lightning, so they actually used Bravo and Charlie. Me getting in trouble, as usual, guys. I can't believe they spent the money to give them even one. Oof. I mean, it was Lando Lakes before the label change. But it just became land, taking that away too. <laughs> yeah, you notice how they got rid of the Indian. Out of the land, yeah. Uh, now you can't do the cool knee trick with the, the, the picture. Guys, you're crowding me, you're crowding me. I'm about to touch pressure, the cap. Pressure, pressure. I can't remember how to do this at all. I wanted to please Shrek. You gotta be ready for contact. Let's see. And then he'll tell you 13 times return pre contact. Alright, that's how you do it. Yep, that's the one. You did it. Ready, pre contact. Are we there yet? Right, I've got to marry some lights up or something, haven't I, guys? Yes. Should be fun. Not. Follow, follow the lights and make them center on each side. The other way you can't zoom in on the Raptor as well, so you can actually see what's going on. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Guys, am I too far? Am um, I too? Nope, nope. Keep going. You're good. Keep going. Now come up a little. There you go. Contact. 
Sucking bit. Stay there. Stay there, Cap. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. If you don't stay right there, if you disconnect once, I'm shooting you down. Peer pressure. Yep. Peer pressure. I'm sucking it, boys. She's going up. I'm sucking. He's getting moist. He's sucking. He's receiving. He's pushing against her force. Um. Technically true. Don't worry, Cap. Uh, can I'm you see 135 says, This is my swamp. 7,000? It's your swamp, Dan. Tell me all about that. It's like KC 135 telling you, right. whispering in your ear as he's pumping you with his fluids <laughs> at the I need to hit suck. Ah! <laughs> it's hard enough. It's hard enough as it is. Just take it, Cap. 9,000. Just relax. And take it. You want to please you have to relax. You have to relax the muscles. Just let it in. Ten thousand. What's it saying? Am I too far forward or back? There we go. I got it. I got it. No, you're good. You're good. You're Cap. in the green. Cap, no matter. Back. No matter how much you tell us that this is your first time, I'm never gonna believe. No, you're not. Doesn't feel right. 11,000. Come on. First time. No disconnections. Boys. I admit that's pretty cool. What happens? Which feels is freaking plain tape. Yes. All, all, around. Is all of that fluid. Come on. All of us are waiting for this bukake of fluid. Um, Hurry up. Demonetized. Demonetized. We're monetized in the first place. Waste of effort. I mean, we were good all, all the way up until then. 13,000. Why oh, so much fuel? Close the gap. Close the gap. You're gonna lose it. Doing it. Don't you do it? Oh no! Go back out. Transfer complete. First friggin' nice. time, boys. I'll see you all in hell. Next guy. Oh my like two boys. Uh, Simbi, you wanna go? Doesn't really matter. Yep. I'm about to steal that. I will take that any time, boys. Right. Try not to bang into each other, the rest of you. That's your one job. Ooh, I found out why you get a massive downdraft. Yes, uh... Look, look at his bay. Look at his, uh, I think, missile bay. When he opens up his fuel port, uh, bay port's open, too. Ooh. Ah, that will be why I get that massive change in moment. Nobody's ever told me that before. No one's told damn no before. That's true, no one's dead. And it shows. Oh, Misty. Yeah. You can't say no through a gag. Look at this human Sorry, centipede. Sorry, I was thinking human centipede and I was just fearing my backside. Yep. You should, I'm right behind you. I'm getting closer to the tanker. About, worrying about damp. Sure. And last time it was uh, almost fall falling out of the sky. Um, welcome to Super Got Mission Planning. Yeah, we had to have the ACS on just so we could have the alpha. How close am I? Look at that, yeah, it's open his belly bay, that's weird, isn't it? You are pretty close, Dan. You hit him, you're in trouble, Dan. Uh oh. Daddy will smack you. Murder Daddy. Mm -hmm. I just want a boot. He just wants boot. a booting. He just wants to boot the snoot. You know, Cap, yes. I never understood how sweet the candy was. Yes. Until I felt the whip. <laughs> <laughs> that made Grump giggle. <laughs> Grub giggle. <laughs> I can see his aim 120Ds. I can see his aim 120Ds down there. Do you see him down? His aim 120Ds. Oh, you like I looking at my D? Oh, I'm seeing his Ds. I'm, I'm, I'm gargling them right can now. I, can you move out of the these way, Stark, nuts. so I can come and have a look? Because I've never sure, seen that sure, before. Sure. Guys, go I'm going to come going and have out. a look at Simba. So Look at that belly viewers. I've not seen that before. When his belly thing shows, you can actually see his aim 120Ds in there. Look at that. There's loads of room You're in there, guys. You're showing everybody my D. Yeah. Nah. Quadruple Ds. Dude, imagine imagine putting fuel in that bay. How much fuel you can put in there. Right? Gulp, gulp, gulp. Anyone know how much that stinking plane carries? 18,000. 18,000, the heck. You know, like half the Tomcat? I say, value viewers, this gauge here is not accurate today. The one that says there, we've actually got an extra 6,000 pounds because we've got the belly bay in. I'm only at 12, but I started at 4. 
It's going to take a long, long time, but I need human noise. That's what you really are. I mean, flown all this time already. What's another, mm. like, 10 minutes? Who's next? Grump. Grump! Oh. Do a thing. You made me get out of the way to forfeit my spot. Masimba showing off. It's okay. It's okay. That's Masimba Wimba. Hurry up. I'm pushing you there. We are getting good, aren't we, guys? Look at us getting good at something. They say it's That's a virtue. Epic. Too bad I'm not a virtuous person. Nah, <laughs> we agree. Uh, I we thought agree. you said virginous person or something. Virginous person. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> not that either. Yeah. Ever since that one possum in the moonlight, mm -hmm. I still have the scars. Mm -hmm. I can still hear the screams. Wow, my AOA has had to go up so high all of a sudden. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Rump, fly the airplane. Working on it. Oh god, I can't see the lights. You've got quite a ways to go forward. I know it's the a -bow's problem. You've got quite a ways to go forward here, Grump. Go next to me, I'll walk you in. Three foot forward, two foot forward, one foot forward, up a tiny bit and you're in. Why won't you plug into him? Has he opened his bay? Yeah, he has. Have you tried turning it off and then turning it back on again? Oh, thanks, Dan. Yeah, there's my grumpy wumpy. Yeah. Do it, grump. Do it, baby. Damn. Yes. I feel a sandwich coming on. Ooh, no sandwich. Baby, what sandwich? Him? Pickle. That'll mo that'll motivate him. He's got it now. Just think of his garter rails, like at the bowling alley whenever we take you. I think I have him on his side. Not to boop your wing. viewers, I'll probably cut the video there because it's going to take us ages to refuel and we'll probably have to do some top-up sessions. But uh, when we rejoin you, we will be I heading know. way into... Not yes. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. I'm not... I'm not hitting nobody yet. If he's not done in like two minutes, I am going to just gun him down. They're doing, they're doing oh, that silly oh, use oh, up oh, thing. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, you, got, you got top, I got bottom. Yep, you literally won't see this anywhere else, Valley Viewers. A grump sandwich while he's sucking on a big barbed thing. Big barbed thing. Oh, he's turning. I'm going to touch your belly. Don't do it. I'm going to touch his top. Hat. Ooh, you touched my tawa -wa. Hi, Valley Viewers. I am actually going to cut off. We will see you later, finally, when we've uh, refueled in about 20 mega minutes. Welcome back, Valley Viewers. We've travelled another 300 miles. We're now getting reports from AWACS, which means we're about 150 miles away from the Russian border. So we're going to see action soon. We've had a change of staff. Grump got a little bit angry about being in a sandwich and he's gone. Poosh, his wife, um, said he had to go, so Poosh is gone. However, we've gained a cannonball. Say hello, cannonball. Hello. So there are now six of us rather than seven. Guys, we better start hooking our sensors up. Yeah, contacts, 110 miles off the nose. Angels 1000. Angels 1000? That is really high, Simba. Um, okay. uh, additional, yeah, additional contacts. Two ship, 120 miles, Angels 24. Okay, guys, uh, can we have a stick infliction? Can we have the Raptors, please? Go, say, 090. We'll take the northern sector. Can we have the Lightnings slightly right to 130? So we can deconfect so we don't all shoot the same target. Why am I not seeing anything? Oh, there they are. Right, target's 90 miles, target's 120 miles. Uh, guys, don't forget, we also have our SA screen. If you press F10, we've got SA. This will show any hostiles that our AWACS can see. It won't show any that it cannot see. It will show friendly missiles. It will not show hostile missiles. I can see we have two SU-35s so far, two SU-34s, two SU-24s on scope. In terms of ranges of firing, guys, maximum range of an A120D in a, you know, against a high fast target, about 90 miles. If you're going to shoot a low target, max is about 20, 30 miles. So use them sensibly. You do not have infinite. Simba, what are you going for? Uh, you going for SU-35s? Yeah, I got the two ship both queued up. What are you shooting at, Damp? Target's far right. Okay, you've got more bombers coming on scope now. Copy. Fox 2 times 2 from 80 miles on targets at Angels 35. 
right. Man, there's a lot of bandits out there. Okay. Got 90 yeah, miles. Two on two targets. Cannibal. Yep. All right. Sorry. Fox, Fox three. three. Yeah. All right. A lot of missiles out, guys. So let's let those missiles do their job before firing any more on those southern lot. They are SU-35. seen you. Here's the interesting thing, Valley viewers, they can't see us. I can tell you that they can't see us, but they can see us. They just know we're here. It's AI on max skill level is kind of omni aware. It just knows you're there, but they Talk can't three times three. they can't pinpoint us and they can't fire at us. Cannonball, are you up high with me? I am up at Angels 40. Headed. Yep. Uh we'll probably fire on the hold. same targets as you. Yep, hold your munitions. There's a, another pair of bandits 140 miles at heading Roger. One four zero. Roger that. Got him we'll, on we'll wait. We'll wait to see these uh, first two splash, mm -hmm. and then we will pursue those. Watch you guys. I'm going to be in reserve. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to be in reserve because there's lots of missiles out. And, All right, um, start pre-notching because they are in range to shoot at us. First missile. So, uh, they're both breaking. Anyone find anything north? I haven't fired anything north, Strider. If you want to take north, get on that. First kill of the day. Fox three times two, S thirty four is on Earth. Second kill of the day. Those southern SU thirty fives are down, guys. Uh, no bombers down yet. Well done. Keep it going. Oh, Roger, Cannonball. Let's press on these two at Angels thirty four right off our nose. Remember, Violet, if you're shooting at low down targets, maximum range is thirty miles. It's no good shooting ninety miles at them. It just went trap. I'll let you take shots. I will hold my missiles in reserve. Cannonball Fox three times two on the far targets. Okay, it's down south over the mountains. SU 35s are coming in again, guys. Lots of stuff on scope now. It's AWACS, as you can see, it's picking them up here at about 200 miles. Fox three. Okay, we've got a couple of misses on bombers, but that's because they were fired too far away and they're low down and they're notching. So careful not to ask too much of the missiles, guys. I think I might go and hunt them down now. Oh, little bombers! Oh, where are these guys? They are... Uh, uh, uh. Wow, 30 miles, 140. Cannonball, can you take out these bombers here? I'm taking out the uh, SM-35. I'm having a pop at the bombers, guys. There's, there's close bombs. They're notching yeah, me. we've already had missiles out on the SU-35s. What was that? So there are already missiles out on the SU-35s. He's got to hold all this... Guys, Track. careful not to get near those bombers by accident. Remember, they have a 10 mile kill range. So just um, don't fly over them, is what I'm saying. Fox 3 times 2 north. Splash 1 S. Splash 1 SU 24 and Splash 1 SU 34. Well done. Keep it going, guys. I can't see those bombers because then. Oh! Uh, uh, Violet's just got one. Keep it going. SU 34 is being chased. And the missiles have run out of legs. They can be dodged. As you can see, they can be run out of uh, speed pretty easily. Am right, I doing well, guys? Strider, be aware of the SU-35. He's your priority, and he's almost in firing range of a stealth. Flash 1 SU-35. We're done. Flash 34. I want to keep tracking this. Cannonball's going cold. Roger, good shot, Strider. I'm tracking your missile. I see him burn. He's a dead SU-35. He's not dodging that. I can see them dodging. Yep. Can't dodge that. Well done. Flash 1. Splash. Look at that. Freaking these missiles, man. Last two. Well done. Right. One more SU-35 down to the south, guys. He's a priority. Obviously. I haven't even fired a missile yet. I'm just doing commanding. Damp, don't get close to that SU-34. He'll shoot you down. Oh, he's below you. He's below you. Uh, Deconflict from I'm going to go and find defensive. him. Roger, I'm going to go and find him. Uh, I do not have that SU-35 on radar. I have two northern targets. Right, we'll find him. Find him. Shoot. Shoot. I'm shooting that one you're near, Damp. Shit, why is it not firing? I'll strike. 135 for 29 miles. About a fox three times one. Target is 18,000 and climbing. 
Simba's getting chased by a bomber. Step on it, Simba. I've got a missile out for him, but... Scratch it, he's not chasing you. He's not chasing you, but... Keep on that SU-35. How's it going up North Strider? You got two? I'm good. Yeah, you're fine. I've got missiles on a, uh, on just a rogue bomber. Cinema target. Yeah, four targets. All right, I'm gonna have to turn cold because he Target is not showing up on my center. Don't wanna be one, that guy, four, but it's you. One, four, two, one. This is going extremely well. Cap issue 24 down. Fox three. Tracking a target when missiles flying straight. Uh, maybe they're jamming. Get closer. You're too far away, I think. Uh, they're down on the deck. Maximum 30 miles. You're, I have you're a track. Off. It's just the missile's not turning. Yeah, yeah, you just can't do it for some reason. Or the jammers upsetting them. Get closer. Uh, we're surrounded by bombers. Sock, let's start taking them down, please. Copy supporting missile. Shoot. Shoot. now. Shoot. Right, where are we? 17 miles on the deck, that will do. Fox 3, M120D. You notched my missile, firing another one. Good shot, Simba. I hope that tracks. I've always got a live SU-33 in the, in the nest. Missile's tracking on the SU-35. Try splash. Divider. Good shot, Simba. I think you've got him. Have you? Yes, you have. Goodbye, sir. So far, clean sheet, guys, which is, whoa, friggin' unheard of for Grim Reapers. But as they're getting close. Splash. Right, uh, we've got that one SU-34 damp. He's escaped us thus far. He's notching. Shoot. Damp, I'm going to have a pop at him, so just care if you got Fox 3 coming in. Got Fox 3. Uh, turn away, damp. My missile, I don't want my missile to track you. Simba. Right, Simba, go north, away from my missile. Damp, have you got missiles? Uh, just Fox 2s, so that's it, I'm out. Simba, have you got missiles? I do. Uh, zero 090, zero, there's a pair. Uh, Damp, you might as well just stay in reserve. Copy, running away. Okay, the SU-35 is scrambling from Rostov. We've got to kill those S... Uh, Strider's about to kill his thing. Right, there's one more pair, guys. It's south for Strider. Shoot. It's east for the other active guys. Let's go and kill them and then get out before the SU-35s get to us. Strider has a visual. Um, you can come in reserve if you want. It's up to you. Probably won't be needed. I've got three missiles left, so I'm all cool. Cap fuel state, 10. So right. not cheating it. Yeah, the low down maximum shooting range is 30 miles, guys. Uh, the baddies are taking off from here, by the way, valid viewers. They will be up soon. So we've got to get a step on. they got their jammers uh, on. Let's go stay 50. Roger, just orbit and stay high, and you'll be fine. Guys, bloody amazing so far. Clean sheet. Let's keep it clean. Stay disciplined. Stay frosty. You have long range missiles? I do. I only have short range. Uh, you can go home then. There's no, there's more, no point putting a stealth in ACM. When we don't need to. We've got plenty of missiles. I've got home on GM. Uh, you fire if you want, Simba, but I'm getting closer. I'm going to make sure of the kill. All right. One way to home on GM. Right. It's not going to be long before we start seeing SU-35s pop up on AWACS. Uh, I have visual. The missile's lofting. I don't know why I was doing that. I don't think it's going to track because it's lofting. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe. No, nope, I haven't burned through the jammer yet. Alright, uh, I'm burning through the jammer, I'm uh, shooting at the left target. Roger. And that is me, Winchester. Splash, SU-24. Well done, Simba. Uh, I do not have sticks out on the second one. Oh, right, yeah, I'll take him, Simba. I like starting left-hand orbit. Shoot. I'll burn through. Shoot. And Fox 3. Not getting anywhere near you, sir. These bombers are dangerous close up. If they've got sidewinders or archers, they're dangerous close up to a stealth, so I don't want to get anywhere near him. He says, eight miles, turning away. Offensive missile crank. Well, that's gonna I'm go left. Boom. I've got eyes on. I will. I can confirm kill. How about that, guys? 
God, that's too good. Well done, guys. Absolute clean sheet. I'm absolutely chuffed. Proof of concept right there. Uh, we've made an agreement on the way, Valley viewers. We're not flying back to Poland because no one's got time. We're going to go to Krasnodar Pasoski. Meet there, guys. Uh, let's get the hell out of here before the um, SU-35 start chasing us down. You can super cruise in this, so uh, you can go pretty fast. Although, I've actually got shed loads of fuel left. Weapon uh, centers cold, please. Don't want to attract any unwanted attention. Guys who are there uh, already, if you can vectorists that would be uh, much appreciated. Strider 26750. I've got so much fuel I'm just gonna friggin' burn. I need super Damn. cruise when you can max 284 two. octal mill power. Ascending. 284 Cap 282 for 81. Thank you. Valley viewers, I hope you enjoyed that absolute masterclass. The weaponry is the sensors. We could pick them up at 100 and something miles, as you saw. We could fire at 90 miles. The missiles are good. They're reliable. We can send multiple missiles and multiple targets. And because we're stealth, they just couldn't get near us. It was absolutely beautiful. Mark 1.4. Center or Krasnodar The one that's with the papa. We'll land on runway 23 left when we all get there. We might as well celebrate with the formation landing because why the heck not? Mark That's two. What happened. That's what happens when you don't like a damp Simba. It's a wet sandwich. Yeah. Right. Okay, I am 5,000 pounds of fuel, Mark 2.14. All is sexy, and I've still got countermeasures. Raptor! Um, now we've got the Raptors and their lightnings working properly and fully pretty much valid viewers. I suppose we've got to put in the Russian SU-57. The main problem I've got with it is I'm not sure how to model it stealth or lack of stealth. I really don't know. Some people I speak to say it's as stealthy as a Raptor. Some people say it's as stealthy as a Super Hornet. Everyone seems to have a different idea and therefore I don't really know how to model it. Really important we get the radar cross-section right. So I'll take your... Um, I any ideas on that. I don't know what these SU-35, they are there, I can tell you, they're there, they're scrambling, they're just not high enough to be seen by AWACS there, I can guarantee they will be there. Assuming yeah, AWACS, I'm, so. I'm picking up their uh, transmissions on my hey. RWR. Where is my RWR? Yep, SU, that's SU-35's there, they're there somewhere. Right, we're nearly there guys, uh, we're 50 miles away, which at Mark 2 is going to take precisely no time at all. Okay, I'm in the break now. A bit high but, and a bit fast, but stealth, baby. Cap air brake going on. I'd suggest you will fly with your air brake on. I can't seem to get my air brake to work. Embarrassing for you, then you'll have to fly without it. Yep. I see three air brake. This thing's got friggin' all the flares. It's a big plane. Cap extending. Gear out. Sock rejoining. Cap turning base, nice slow base, you can all catch up. Flares out. I swear this thing's going for the flares. Four SU 35s east. Oh, they're up then, finally. They'll be like 100 miles away, don't worry about it. 250 knots are slowing. Big wide base. Final. Out oh, one mile. One seven zero. I'm beaming one seven zero. One eight zero. Sorry. Socks got tail end. I'm last. Tail and Charlie late, baby. Once you're down, do not break. Do not break. Cut once you hit the threshold. And roll. Ooh. Egg Benign Raptor. Nice guys. Friggin. Look at us being super professional. I'm scared. No one's even crashed into each other. Keep rolling, keep rolling, there's no need for brakes. Give it time. Yep. 
And start braking once you hit the uh, tire marks, guys. Freaking awesome. Let's see. Oh, wow, the SU 35s are all here. <laughs> Look, they've got to us. All right, well, they're too late. That's their problem. We're on our way back to Poland. Guys, let's do a quick debrief standby. Welcome back. Uh, we'll have a quick look at what went on because it was all kind of big and confusing. They're going to be called Meteors because I still haven't seen fit to change the name of them yet. They are, of course, A120Ds. They're based on the original Meteor code. Okay, let's see what's going on. So, the SU-35 spotted us and charged us but couldn't fire us because they couldn't get closer. The F-35 started pumping out A120Ds. Smack in the face, smack in the face. Two SU-35s down. Uh, these all went dumb because the SU-35 was already dead or they couldn't track these guys because they were low, notching and or jamming. This is what's beautiful about the Raptor and the Lightning. They can just sit from 90 miles away and just pummel A120Ds in. There is nothing you can do about them. Look at that guy get chased by these. It's turned, turned around. Ah. And they're still chasing. And they took one down. Nice. These failed to track for some reason. Probably they were shot at two lower targets that were jamming. Another pair of SU-35s come in. They go defensive, but they can't dodge the missiles. Missiles are too fast. Oh, no one dodged. Just shows they can be dodged. Look at that. That guy notches it perfectly. Missile fails. Missile was a Mark II, look. Uh, two here. Uh, Strider takes them on. Boom. Boom. Nice. Uh, we have to worry about these guys now. We've got a bit close to They are dangerous. They may have archers, and they will kill a stealth within 10 miles. So you've got to be careful. Uh, it's me I start firing now. It's my first one down. I fire again, or damp does, I'm not sure who. Someone's got this SU-35 covered. Simbra, I think, takes him down. I'm starting to clean up. This guy here. Uh, that shot misses because this guy's on a notch. Uh, I think that's me. I shoot that guy there. Strider takes this guy down here. And then it's just mopping up. Mop these guys up. Which time we're out, SU-35s are taking us and chasing it home, but they never stood a chance of catching up. Remember, we can supercruise, they can't. So we can go over Mark 1 with burning very little fuel. These guys just can't do that. So if they want to burn, they'll only go 100 miles or so before they run out of fuel. So real difference in technology we've got going on here. Absolutely chuffed with that, guys. Uh, could not have been a bigger difference with correction of the radar. Remember, these planes here have all got the same radar now. Uh, they've all got the realistic missile, or as realistic as we can set them up at the moment. And the stealth's all working to pretty much how it should do. So, super cool. Uh, what do you think, guys? I think we did pretty good. I don't think we had a single loss that time. Mm -hmm. It ain't over till the fat Amy sings. No one made any mistakes, which is weird, and I'm a bit scared by that. But I'll just take that as a fluke. Just for fun, I want to do the reverse of this. SU-57s against uh, American equivalent something. All right, Valley Views, I'll try and set the SU-57s up properly with the ra proper radar, with the proper missiles and stuff. But again, I need help. What do you want me to set the RCSs? Where's your proof? So I can do that and then I'll do that for you. And we'll try and take on some American stealths. See how that goes. Although I don't think that'll go very well. Uh, great. Chuffed. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later.